Hey, I'm Ken Urban from Occurrence, and today I'm going to talk to you about how I made the song Heels Overhead, which is the first single from our new album. The single drops on December 13th, and so yeah, I'm going to talk to you about how I made the song. Uh, so I started the song in June of 2020. Uh, as you probably remember, it was a pretty crazy time in the world. Johnny and I were locked up our, in our apartment in New York City, and Kat was in Lawrence, Kansas, and we didn't know when we would see each other again. And by June, I had gotten over COVID, and we were trying to figure out, like, we were starting to feel creative again, Johnny and I. But the three of us decided that we would never work remotely again, that we'd only work when all three of us were together uh, because we just felt like that was like a better energy and vibe for making music. But in June, I started getting the bug to work on some new songs. So I had this idea, what if I could like electronically create a duet between Johnny and Kat? And so I use this program called Blanks, which basically is like a little bit like a sampler, but it allows you to uh, take any sounds you want and kind of program it. Uh, and it's called Blanks because it doesn't come with anything. It's just basically like a, a sampler. And so I made this little piece uh, from Kat's vocals, uh, which sound like this. And that all came from like an older song that Kat sang on. And so I took the stems from the vocals and kind of cut them up to turn them into a melody. And then I had the idea that like, oh, now I can have um, Johnny kind of sing on the song too. So it could be like a duet. So then I created this other bridge part where like Kat and Johnny were kind of singing together. And it, that sounds like this. Uh, so it's like, again, cut ups and blanks. Uh and so from those little sections of like um cut up vocals that's how the song started and so then i went back in and once i figured out what key that was all in and how it all started sounding i created this like synth arp uh which became like the main part of the song uh, so it starts the first verse and it's like this. It's just like a simple arpeggiator uh, with this analog synth. Uh, it's an Atoria synth, I think it is. Yeah, it is. Um, and so that became like the basic uh, version of the song. And then I gave, I, then I started making some drums. And I, for the drums, I use this program, Native Instruments, called Battery. And I just like have like an insane amount of like drum libraries and a hard drive. And so I just sort of like figure out what sounds kind of cool together. And from there, I came up with this like basic drum beat. Um, and the tempo was weird. It's 95.4. I think fractions are cool. So I was like, that seemed like a good beat. And so, yeah, you can hear there's a little bit of like what sounds a little bit like a shaker, a little cow belly kind of thing. Uh, and then the snare comes in right about here, and uh, yeah. And that was like the basic drum pattern for the song. And then, you know, I did some bass, and then, um, yeah, and then I gave a demo to Johnny, and then he <laughs> recorded these vocals. And I will say, I was really surprised when Johnny first came in and started uh, sharing the lyrics with me because they were really personal. They were about our relationship and I was a little surprised by that because we had never written a song that was so personal. The title, I always name my demo. So when I gave Johnny the demo, it was already called Heels Overhead. I was going through like a weird Tears for Fears phase. Not weird, but like I was like revisiting that 1984 album and I was listening to that song Head Over Heels and I was like, oh God, that's such a fucking killer pop song. And so I just named this uh, as a joke, Heels Overhead, which I thought was a bit of a dirty joke. So I thought he was going to write something about sex, but instead he wrote about our relationship. And so he came in and we recorded these vocals, which I eventually double tracked and fed through a couple of, um, actually, I didn't actually, yeah, a couple of distortion plugins, but nothing too, nothing too crazy. Woke up feeling good about the world and about you. But yeah, I use thermal, which is like Set a distortion plugin. That I've been thinking, feeling through and through. 
you can hear you can hear the room tone we record in this room and so it's not perfect for vocals but uh luckily we have a good mixing engineer who fixes all of that so uh that was like the vocals then he did this like chorus that was pretty uh pretty belty johnny likes to get pretty belty and so that had a harmony that he was harmonizing with himself so it sounds like this Heart is happy joy from the blue i put a little like vocal synth on the harmony so it sounded a little bit more like synthetic and um like electronic-y uh, for lack of a better word so yeah so then the song all kind of came together and then um we mixed the song pretty fast after Johnny did his vocals with our friend Daniel Kluger. And this is like probably like July or August of 2020. And so that mix, which was not what we used on the album, that's the that was the first mix of the song, sounded like this. And I've come by to feel alive. Love protect me, feel no strife. And that is just my view. See that I'm heels overhead, over heels all for you. I still kind of like that mix, but uh, Johnny and I were we were in a rental car. His brother got married during the pandemic, so we were driving to Pennsylvania outside of Philadelphia where the wedding was, and I was like playing some mixes of songs that Daniel and I were working on for Johnny, and he was like, yeah, I don't know. I wish there was like some piano. I wish it was kind of like bigger. The chorus and the verses are a little the same, because as you heard, like, Back then, that synth harp was like in the verses and in the chorus, and we both kind of agreed. And so we're like, we're gonna put that song on the on the back burner, and I'm gonna do some more work on it. And then I reached out to my friend Kit Berman from the uh, the band Pains of Being Pure at Heart and um, the Natural. I said, Kip, we're working on this song. We we really hear some guitar on it. Could you maybe like play something? We're a little stuck with it. And I, I, I'll never forget this. It was like December of 2020. I texted him in like like one in the afternoon and I was out like running errands. And then by the time I was home at four o'clock, he's like, hey dude, I just sent you a new version of the song. And so I checked my Dropbox and there it was. And Kip had decided that we had actually secretly recorded a Weezer song and we just didn't know it. And so he kind of re-recorded the entire song. He took everything out of it and it, it sounded like this. Time has passed, how much has passed? There's always something new. Lucky us, they say to us, no fights but just a few. So I was a little like, whoa, that's like such a different version of the song. It had like bass in it that was a kind of detuned. Uh, and it was like, yeah, it definitely sounded a little bit like Weezer. So I, I kind of, again, was like, yeah, I, don't, I don't know. I, I still think we're, we're some, maybe somewhere in between. And then I played the mix for Kat and Johnny. I did like another mix. I'll play a little snippet of that here, which is uh, a mix I did, which had the synthesizers back in it, but some of the guitar. Love is what I wanted, I come far to feel alive. Love protects me, no strife, and that is just my view. And so, like, I put like a lot more distortion on Johnny's voice to make it sound like a rock vocal. And Kat and Johnny were like, "This is not like a rock song." <laughs> and so I was like, "Okay, fair, fair." So I went back into the mix and I used some of Kip's guitar, but none of the bass or the drums that he made. And then I put this thing like I love this effect. It's like a it's a plugin called Stutter Edit, and I made this like thing out of. <laughs> So I made this like stutter edit thing with his guitar and I put that throughout the song and then we kind of totally redid the choruses. So I remember I recorded this bass part and then Johnny helped me like figure out this like piano because he's much better at like being able to tell what key things are in and I'm a little stupid about that stuff. So we made this like piano part. Which again, like the sort of simple, but like I just felt like elevated the song in a whole new way. And it was like in like a strange like strange places, which I thought was kind of cool. 
Uh, and then like, just like, we kind of like kept working on the song. This is like fall of 2021. And then finally we felt like we had a version that we liked. And then we sent it to Kiri, our mixing engineer. And we went through like five mixes of this song with her. Cause I kept being like too much guitar, not enough guitar. I think I was like really self-conscious about this song. Uh, and then she put it all together and then that was the version and so like mix five was like the killer that had all the parts together and we really liked and um yeah so it was like a two-year journey almost with this song but i feel like it was worth it and uh it's different than a lot of other songs on the record but it's definitely like we thought would be like an awesome like first taste of what's to come when slow violence comes out in april so yeah that's how we made heels overhead <laughs> 